Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we have something a bit more expensive than usual and I was curious to see how good they are. And we start with the unboxing. About the sizes, I will say that this 997 Bison is true to size to me, is 41.5 or 8 in US and they fit me as expected. In Nike and Jordan I have 41, 8 US, so it's true to size. In the box they didn't come with another pair of laces. The price of these sneakers was 270 euros or 316 American dollars, which is a lot, it's quite expensive actually. The main selling point in these sneakers, it has to be the leather, is made with bison skin, which is something different, obviously. The lining, it looks like leather, but I'm not 100% sure if it's natural leather or it's something synthetic because it's painted, so I, I'm not sure with that. If someone knows, just let me know in the comments. Half of the lining is made from textile material. The laces, I wish they were from cotton because this material is something synthetic. The insoles, they look like any other uh, 997 made in USA uh, models. These sneakers, like all the 997 made in USA, have uh, this arch support, which is something common on them and very useful. As you can see in this image, this is the type of arch that I have, so I think it's something that I should mention. One thing I noticed with this kind of leather, that I like it, it doesn't wrinkle as much as others, so that's a good thing. The outsole is made with EVA and some rubber. These are the reflective materials on the sneakers. The finishes on these sneakers is very good, they are double stitched, most of it, and you will expect this from some sneakers on this price range. These sneakers have some control uh, quality issues. As you can see, they have these scratches here. I wasn't expecting that for this kind of uh, price, but anyway. And here is the weight test, I'm using as comparison another 997 made in USA, which is made with uh, sweet leather.
Here we have an arm fit in an upper angle. Having both in the same time on my feet, I can say that the comfort is exactly the same because they have the same feet. Here is the arm fit in a lower angle. Pros and cons. Pros, I would say the quality of the leather because it's something different and it doesn't wrinkle as much as others. I like the sturdy build. I think they will last for a few years without any issues. I like the fact that they have arch support. For me, it's very important that. Now some cons. First of it, the price of course. 270 euros or 316 US dollars is a lot of money and I'm not sure if they are, they are that good you know another problem it might be the comfort it is good but it's not fresh foam comfort that I will like to see in the future in this kind of uh, price range other thing that I don't like it in general in sneakers is that the outsole that uh, rubber in gray light color it will look very bad in a very short period of time because you won't be able to clean it as you will like and the last con it will be that painted EVA midsole that is a problem in all the 997 made in USA sneakers they are painted once you get some scratches on them they will reveal the true color of that midsole and that one usually is black so imagine black with white how it's gonna look after so my final thoughts on these sneakers and i like very much this 997 made in usa in general but on this case for this price i have hard time to recommend them you know it's, they are a bit too expensive and they are not perfect so everyone has his own uh, choice
I think I will finish my review here. If you have any questions, as always, leave me some comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and please don't forget to subscribe.